The Ryzen 5 3500X is a CPU that came out in later 2019, and it was originally intended for different markets for system builders, in that it wasn't really sold on the retail shelves, especially in the likes of Australia, US and UK, for example. And in fact, these CPUs did find their way to these countries eventually in the form of AliExpress, where I checked this CPU out at its current market rate and I thought it was phenomenally good value for money in that you had a CPU that was so relevant for the majority of gamers out there, especially gamers that played multiplayer titles like Fortnite, GTA 5, and Rainbow Six Siege, for example. This CPU had it all, the latest IPC, great price performance, coupled really well with A320 and B450 motherboards, and better yet, it had an improved IMC over the previous generation Ryzen 5 2600. If you wanna check out the video I did, I'll put the link up here. Though for what it's worth, it was a CPU at $110 market rate, that's what you could get it for on AliExpress. However, in the past few weeks, we have noticed that these ads have been taken off AliExpress completely. And you guys have asked me to look into that as well as check out the Ryzen 5 1600 AF. So today we're gonna to be talking about both these CPUs and see what my research has unveiled. Though I do put out a disclaimer, a lot of this is pure speculation. So first off, with the Ryzen 5 3500X, the sellers who were selling this on AliExpress were forced to take these listings down by AliExpress. Now AliExpress haven't commented when I sent them an email, as well as AMD when I asked them about this, the only response I got was the Ryzen 5 3500X was intended for limited markets. And so we can only speculate here what has gone down, although I highly think it's the most likely scenario. And that is the Chinese division of AMD sent a cease and desist letter to AliExpress saying, look, if you don't take these CPUs off your website, then this could quite simply escalate into a matter that could cost AliExpress a lot of money if they lost in court. Though this CPU being delisted off AliExpress doesn't help guys like me in Australia or people in the US or the UK who want to get this CPU and simply utilize its price performance benefits. So you're probably thinking, well, how do I get this CPU if I'm in one of these places? So there's essentially two different ways you can do this still. And that is you could go through sites like Taobao, which for me personally are an extreme pain because AliExpress does have a buyer protection program. If you go through Taobao, you're gonna have a really hard time since the sellers generally don't speak English at all. And then you've got to use a third party shipping agent. And once that all adds up, as well as currency transaction fees, you're looking at a similar price to that of AliExpress, plus all the extra complications. Though then there's the second option. And that is if you do remember one of these sellers in their details, especially their email contact from AliExpress, and you can message them directly, you may be able to sort out some kind of direct deal. However, there is risks that are now outside of that, and that is you could pay them for the CPU and they could just simply never send it. So I would recommend using a medium if you were to do that, like PayPal, where you get some kind of buyer protection against that happening. Though in relation to that second option, we'll just say that Kurt said it, not me. Yeah, if you want a 3500X, just get his contact details and message him directly. Gift, so you don't even get any seller protection. Though getting back on the beaten track, if those first two options seem like a massive headache for you, then of course, there is the Ryzen 5 2600 going for a $100 ship worldwide. Of course, you get six extra threads, but you do lose those advantages of the 3500X, which come to the tune of Precision Boost 2 and a better IMC, all of which I feel are a lot better and beginner friendly, especially if you are building your first PC. Though speaking of the 2600, we're gonna segue into the next part of this video, and that is the Ryzen 5 1600 AF, which uh, Gamers Nexus did a great video breaking this CPU down, and they basically found it to be very similar in performance to the Ryzen 5 2600. So basically this chip is a part that is designed on 12 nanometer plus. As the SKU number indicates, this has the same AF identifier as the Ryzen 5 2600. However, what I find really odd about this CPU is that it was made in 2019. And now looking at the batch numbers, we can get an idea of what year, as well as what week, these CPUs are made in, as well as where they're made and also diffused. Take for instance, if we look at a Ryzen 5 2600, 
This example we're pulling up here, it was made in 2018, as we can see with the 18, and it was made in the 52nd week of the year, so basically around Christmas time. If we look at another example, this Ryzen 5 2600, made in 2019, roughly somewhere in early June. Though back to this Ryzen 5 1600 AF, it was made in 2019, most likely late February, and it was diffused in Texas. It also comes included with the RAID Stealth Cooler, the same as the Ryzen 5 2600. And so you're probably thinking now, well, Brian, if this is virtually the same CPU as a Ryzen 5 2600, why didn't AMD name it as such? And now here's where we're going to dive into the world of pure speculation based on rumors that I've heard, but when I add it all up, it does make perfect sense. So hear me out with this one. Ryzen 5 1600, it's got a different IMC, that's an integrated memory controller, compared to the Ryzen 5 2600. And now if AMD, for example, were to have a massive oversupply of these IMCs for the first generation Ryzen, they'd probably be scratching their head and saying, how we can then sell off all this older stock? Since this is where the rumor part comes in, there was a rumor that AMD's integrated memory controllers, at least on first and second generation Ryzen, was sourced by a third party. So they had to then order a mouse amount of those IMCs, put them on their CPUs, and then sell them as a Ryzen CPU. So if tech yes speculation is right, then that means that we have a Ryzen 5 1600 2600 hybrid that we can't legally call a 2600 due to the inferior IMC. And that's where it comes in. AMD can't market this as a Ryzen 5 2600 for reasons being if people found out that they were using first gen parts in there, then they would have a massive legal problem on their hands. Hence why it's safe to just call it a Ryzen 5 1600. Though again, pure speculation and the reason I don't have one of these CPUs is that the seller on amazon.com doesn't ship to Australia and there's only one seller and you have to click on it and go to the different offers and then you'll find it there for $85, which is at its current price point, phenomenal value for money for a six core 12 threaded processor with a budget dual channel memory kit. In terms of buying the Ryzen 5 1600 AF worldwide, however, I think this is a CPU that's currently only being sold in America because I can't find it for sale on the likes of eBay or AliExpress, and the original story of this CPU originated on Reddit, where a person, I believe, bought it from Micro Center or something like that, and just noticed with the CPU Z readings that it was saying 12 nanometer plus. Though, of course, if you can find this CPU for 85 bucks shipped worldwide, then that would be one to definitely consider snapping up. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button for us. Also, let us know in the comment section below, do you have rumors and speculations of your own or do you have hard evidence? Love reading your thoughts and opinions on both the 3500X and this new Ryzen 5 1600 AF. Though with that aside, we do have the question of the day, which comes from Dollar Almeida. And they asked, my Toshiba laptop wanted to update to Windows 10. Now it failed to complete the update. And I cannot get out of the blue screen at all. I have tried YouTube and tried to fix it, but to no avail, do you have a suggestion? And basically the only two ways to kind of get around this would be if you want to get your original install back would be to try repair it when you boot it up. Uh, you have to have the Windows 10 installation disk for that or USB key. Or of course, you can try uh, loading up a backup image of Windows 10. If you can't do either of those or they don't work, then unfortunately you will want to get your important data off that drive and then reformat Windows 10. Because yeah, having Windows 10 fail during the update process is really not a good thing where files can potentially become corrupted. And that's it for today's video. If you're still watching and you wanna see the videos as soon as they dropped and you're not yet subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button ring that bell, and then you'll get email notifications as soon as they drop here on the channel. And also if you want some relative links for things we talked about in today's video, then I'll put the links in the description below for you guys. And I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. And the last batch number we're gonna read here is a Ryzen 5 3600.
where the BF means that the CPU has a boyfriend, and at the end there you can see that it was made in a sus location.